Right, hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. JCB steering wheel, pretty old, <clears throat> an old one. I've got the part number here. Um, there we go, there's the part number. She's pretty old. Um, I would say it's probably Mark 1, maybe Mark 2. Beginning of Mark 2, they might have whacked it on. Um, it is an old steering wheel. Um, slight damage here. I, I didn't quite realise it was as bad as what it is, to be honest with you. Um, I bought this online. Um, I won't mention no company names. Um, but it's, you know, it's quite... It's quite... It looks like it's had a repair. Um, it, it definitely has had a repair, because that's originally there. And there it's all rough and... Yeah, it's had a repair. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm not very happy about that, to be honest with you. I didn't realise it was a whole piece of shit basically um and the rubbers all come off here which is not good so i've got to basically reinforce that rubber i've got to put that rubber back in so that's going to be very interesting so i've got some rubber here um that i'm going to use i'm going to basically well i've got a bit more bigger bit bigger bit here um but yeah what i'll do is i will wrap that round onto there um and we glue that it's it is dead level so that's quite good so i'll cut that and make that fit is the plan um so that's something i'm going to have to do um because obviously it's like a rubber it's not a bake light like the uh like the um fordson um steering wheel so yep i'm gonna have to grind this all out and yep do it all properly um that's all gonna have to be all cleaned up and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to paint the steering wheel. I don't like the idea of this bit being this colour in the middle. Um, so I'm probably going to paint the whole steering wheel black and be done with it. Um, so that's the plan for that. So that will be black. So I'll have to basically primer this up in etching primer. Um, yeah, uh, primer it up in etching primer. Um, so yeah, I'll do step by step on this video. Um, showing you how the steering wheel um, can be refurbed. So what we do is we we're, we're basically measure... We measure across here and we cut it round all the way around so it's a dead symmetrical measurement all the way around then basically i can cut a bit of this rubber um which is very similar to rubber that's on here and then we can basically glue that onto there um using a really strong adhesive uh aridite something like that um, would be a good good adhesive to use it's raining would you believe it, it never stops raining um, I think we should all start our tractors up and JCBs up and burn a bloody hole in the ozone layer to give us a bit more sun. Really pissing me off this is. But anyway, um, so that's that's my advice on that. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, obviously clean it all up, give it a wipe down. Um, because it's damaged there, it's difficult for me to slot a bit in and kind of leave it, if you know what I mean. Because normally I could probably get away with cleaning this rubber up and getting it looking quite nice and original but because i've had to because i'm going to have to put a bit in i'm going to have to paint the whole steering wheel um so i'm gonna have to use a very flexible rubber um a flexible rubber paint probably something like that actually alfreds do supply it other paint shops will supply it as well um but that's probably what i'll use a black that's a jet black is it yeah that'll do that will do. I'll probably use that. Yeah, that's perfect. So I use that. It's very similar to it's the same same uh, paint that I used on the um, Fortune steering wheel. If you haven't seen the Fortune steering wheel, the rebuild of that, click down and onto my videos and you'll you'll see the Fortune um, steering wheel being repaired. Um, I'm doing quite a few of these steering wheels actually. Maybe I should buy and sell them. Um, <laughs> maybe there's a market for it. Um, so there we are. So I'm going to make a repair on this, and we go from there. Right, okay, after cleaning up the bit of rubber with a bit of thinners, just to make it sort of a bit sort of sticky and a bit, you know, as thinners does with rubber. Um, well, actually, it didn't make it that bad, but it, it gave me more of a chance to sort of clean it up and um, obviously glue it. And as you can see, you can see the glue on the edges um, that have come out. And I've, I've basically, what I've done is with the glue, I've, I've sanded the glue down with a, with a little sanding pad. Um and then you know kind of that's about it really so it all looks pretty good um 
yeah see all looks pretty good so the plan now is to obviously clean all of this up now um all of it around and obviously this has all got to be grinded down well this has got to be cleaned up and then i've got to do something with this because it's a bit bit you can see it's been repaired um and i don't like that i'm a bit funny about that um so we'll see what we can do with that um see if we can sort of tidy it up a little bit um and go from there um so right well i don't know what i'm going to do next um i might might clean this up next and then clean this up so i'll show you when this is all cleaned up and we'll go from there that'll be the next video okay so now it's been cleaned up what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna well, obviously this one's a good one but obviously here you can see it's a little bit dented just obviously where the welds is uh, that's quite flat ish there it's not bad but i'm you know i don't know what they're what the person what is what they've done here but uh, yeah anyway so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna braise a little bit in here just to fill up these gaps and obviously probably just round here as well just to sort of fill up the gaps um, I'm going to braise a little bit in this one as well, just to fill up the gaps. Um, and then obviously I'll sand that down with a, with a basically with this. Um, and then what we do is um, we'll then put it into a little bit of primer, etching primer. And then it'll be ready for a black coat of paint. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to do to the steel wall. So it should be quite good when it's done. Right, so... It's finally done. It's all been uh, painted and done. Um, I'm really happy. It's still a little bit tacky, so I'm not going to pick it up. But there we are. So that's one now nice, newly restored steering wheel. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. It looks good. So, yeah, all done.